With the new Jurassic series Jurassic World Chaos Theory approaching its release of May 24th this year, it has led to speculation that Jurassic World Evolution 2 could be adding a DLC to celebrate this new series release. There are a couple of new species in this upcoming show, a few returning ones from previous DLCs. So let's have a look at what could be included in the Chaos Theory Dinosaur Pack as I don't think we are at the point where expansions are a possibility anymore, so yeah, let's have a look at this. Our first and only true new species is one that we haven't really gotten a very good look at, that being the Beckel Spinax. This animal is briefly seen in the trailer ramming into Ben's van, and there is confusion as to how this is Beckel Spinax in a few ways. It does, in a lot of ways, resemble Concavenator with that... Uh, with that spine on its back, resembling the concavenator's hump. But it is confirmed through toys and, as part of the, some of the showrunners, I think, being Beckel Spinax. So, we haven't really gotten a good look at it, however some toys have been leaked as showing how this animal is going to somewhat look, and even its name being Brunette. Um, we, will, we will need to see a lot more of this animal to get a good idea of what role it will play and also how it would really act in this sort of DLC. But Beckel Spinax is our current one new species. There is, however, technically another new species in the show. Now, we may already have Pachyrhinosaurus in the game thanks to the Deluxe Edition, but the Pachyrhinosaurus does seem to be making an appearance in Chaos Theory. And Using some prehistoric kingdom logic here, there are actually three species of Pachyrhinosaurus. The one that we currently in the game has a central horn on its frill, which indicates Pachyrhinosaurus lacustae, whereas this one lacks that said horn. And in some images we can see that that is indeed true, with a brown and a green skin being potential for this species. This could be Pachyrhinosaurus canadensis, which theoretically you could introduce as sort of a Pachyrhinosaurus Gen 2. As I don't know how variants for DLC dinosaurs would work, as that hasn't really happened before. Aronosaurus and Kentrosaurus were already in the game when they were, were given variants back when the Cretaceous Dinosaur Pack was released. The same with Giganotosaurus, Dreadnoughtus, Allosaurus, all those sort of animals that already had existing members in the base game but we've never really had that with the DLC creature, so that'll be interesting to see how that's tackled. Now, there are a couple of other species showing up, like Allosaurus, but we do, of course, currently have that skin, thanks to the Malta DLC. And the Atrociraptors are also making an appearance, but of course the Atrociraptors were introduced in the Dominion Malta expansion. Some other species that are rumoured to appear in the show are Suchomimus. Rumours say they could be adopting the website design, and I would love that. If we got this design officially as the default Sukomimus, I would be really happy with that. And potentially even having a proper skin dedicated to it, I think that would be really cool. But there is also another species, the Majungasaurus. Majungasaurus was introduced in the Deluxe Edition alongside Sukomimus back in Jurassic World Evolution and has since made its debut in Jurassic World Evolution 2 as well, and will be making an on-screen appearance in Camp Cretaceous as Major the Majungasaurus. Now, it will look a bit different, and toy leaks have sort of shown, but I don't know whether that's true or not, but we could be seeing a new variant the Majungasaurus introduced. Another animal that could have a variant introduced is Nasutoceratops. We could finally get the male variants that we've been longing for since the Battle of Big Rock short film and since its continued appearance in Jurassic World Dominion and will likely be showing up in Chaos Theory as well. I would just love to see this guy finally added. Another dinosaur that's making an appearance is of course Rexy. Now we do technically have a Rexy skin, which is the 2022 skin from the Dominion Bison expansion. But getting a Camp Cretaceous Rexy skin I think would be really cool. And it's not the only T-Rex that has been shown. This pack could be an opportunity to introduce those final Camp Cretaceous skins that we are currently lacking. Such as Little Edie. Followed by... The various different Stegosauruses that were present on Insula Nublar. Such as this variant. 
this one, and this one. All these Stegosaurus skins would be great to see. The same with Cynoceratops, with two skins appearing in Care Cretaceous that we currently don't have. Brachiosaurus would be another great piece to get a variant or just a skin, as the Care Cretaceous Brachiosaurus does have a different head and body shape to the current Jurassic World Evolution 2 one. So it would be cool to get that sort of skin, matching the ones that we've seen in the show, and potentially even a skin for Little Firecracker. A very important variant would be the Jurassic Park Spinosaurus. I say Jurassic Park Spinosaurus, but it is the same individual. So I guess so. This Spinosaurus is far larger than its Jurassic Park 3 counterpart and has a very different body shape. And I would just love to see this guy added. I think it was out of such... It had a very cool design, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Dimorphodon also appeared in Cat Cretaceous with a green skin and also an orange skin. This is courtesy of Mecha's Forgotten Skins mod, and there will be a couple more skins from that mod shown here. The Velociraptors on Manticore Island would be another great skin to see, as they had a very distinct appearance with gold to green skin with a blue with blue details. I think that would be really cool. Toro as well. We already got a Toro skin in the Cretaceous Dinosaur Pack. However, that was his clean, unscarred version. However, I think it would be cool if we got the Burns Toro and potentially even a Toro skin with the no scar. There were several Copsignathus that also showed up, namely the blue Copsignathus and the brown Copsignathus, as well as the very numerous green Copsignathus that actually had a red throat pouch and a, well, I say pouch, throat patch, I should say, and a yellow underbelly. I think these skins would be really cool to see added. Ceratosaurus also made its return in Camp Cretaceous for Jurassic Park 3, adopting a black skin as well as a red skin. Both these guys would be really cool to see added into the game as I think Camp Cretaceous did a really good job at giving Ceratosaurus more screen time. Magicore Island also had its own Dilophosauruses, one having a pink frill, and another having the iconic yellow frill. Both these variants would be great to have. One final dinosaur would be one from the Care Cretaceous Dinosaur Pack, that being Monolophosaurus. In Season 3 of Care Cretaceous, we did see two other Monolophosaurus skins, one being this grey-blue one, and the other being this browner skin. Both of these would be great additions to the Monolophosaurus, and I would just love to see them. But yeah, that is all for the Chaos Theory Dinosaur Pack. We, of course, need to see a lot more of the show to really get an idea of how a full pack could look, as there are probably plenty more dinosaurs that are going to show up in this show. But let me know what you think. What dinosaurs do you think could show up in this um, show? What dinosaurs do you think could show up in this pack? And yeah, let me know your thoughts on this pack in general, as I think it would be a cool pack to get those last Cretaceous skins in as well as introduce various others from the Chaos Theory show. As for now, I'll see you all in the next one. Also, I did find out when I was recording this that uh, Frontier will be holding a Frontier Unlocked live stream uh, this coming Wednesday, which will be talking about Planet Zoo and Jurassic World Evolution 2, among others of their games. So stay tuned for that, and hopefully we'll get some news on potentially some new DLCs. But yeah. This has been the Chaos Theory Dinosaur Pack. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.